Welcome guys, so today we've got this MacBook Air, which is actually from 2012, so it's quite an old model here, and uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to change up the battery here, and we're going to see just how uh, dusty all of these vents are. Now, in this clip you can see how many charging cycles the battery has already done, as well as the remaining charge and the full charging capacity, which are both at 0 mAh. I'm sure that it has done at least twice or even three times as many cycles, but because the battery is already so done for, it chose the last charging cycle where it would still charge, which was number 887. As you can see, as soon as I take it off the power supply, it dies, which isn't exactly ideal for the laptop I'm using every day for university and work. First, we're removing all of the screws holding the bottom part of the MacBook in place by using this bit. We lay them out in such a way that visualizes how they were screwed in before, so we don't mess up and put the wrong screws in the wrong holes. With a battery replacement, that isn't much of an issue usually, but once you must go to the more hidden components of the computer, it can easily get very difficult to differentiate the small screws and you don't want to get anything mixed up in there. Holy moly! Once open, we can see just how much dust and other stuff, including a feather, has accumulated over the last 8 years. I am surprised this thing didn't catch on fire, looking at how much stuff is in here and considering how hot it sometimes gets when I throw a big workload at it, like using Photoshop or Premiere Pro. We are now just doing a bit of cleaning, so sit back, relax and enjoy the show. First of all, we are going to blow some of the initial dust out by using a blower, which can also be used for cameras. We are also using different kinds of brushes, none of them hard enough to harm any of the components that are lying underneath. Be sure not to apply too much pressure as there are some electrons and electrodes that could be harmed this way. The next step is going to be unclipping the battery connector, which is basically the bridge between the battery itself and the MacBook. We are now using a different bit to unscrew the five screws holding the battery in place. The battery can now easily be lifted out of the MacBook. Once again, we are using the blower to get the initial dust out of the battery compartment. and use a fine brush to get the more hard to get to dust out of the device. Now we simply put the new battery in, screw all of the screws back in and plug the battery connector back in.
we now check if the battery works by turning the device on and it seems like it works just fine, which is a great relief. We then turn it back off and now it goes back to cleaning. The first thing we tackle is the bottom plate itself because as you can see it doesn't look particularly nice anymore. We start by using some normal cleaning agent which can also be used for windows for example, uh, some microfiber towels and even some paper towels uh, and also cotton pads uh, to get everything nice and clean. For the more hard to get to areas we can also use a toothpick or some uh, cotton sticks uh, that help us get the holes for the, cr for the screws nice and clean. Now that everything is nice and clean, we put all of the screws back in and then we are going to clean the display as well as the keyboard.
the blower and the brush can also be used for the keyboard. It was actually quite interesting to see how dirty the display actually was because uh, as you will see in a second here, it took us longer than you'd think to actually get it very nice and clean again. As you can see it can take some time but if you're patient enough it will look very nicely again. Even though the ports worked just fine, we are going to use a toothpick and a very slim uh, cotton pick in order to get them nice and clean again as well. And here comes the last test. We turn it on once again and it looks like it's working. We are now typing in my password. <laughs> and we're going to the system options, everything popping up that we don't want to pop up. Now, there we go. Go down here and we can see that the full capacity is about 5,200 milliamp hours and it has zero charging cycles and is good to go. So I really hope that this video could help you and we'll see you in the next one.